Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen <laughs> and I've got more happy mail but this happy mail I purchased so I was going to share it with you. This is the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils made in Germany. Um, they're gorgeous, 120 of them. So obviously already opened it but um, doesn't come with that but it does come with these things so we have the uh, little pamphlet here that kind of walks you through um, information about the pencils the company and then it also has in here a couple of uh, techniques you can use so it's kind of helpful the little splattering how to uh, sharpen your pencils how to get the little granulated effects, mixing the colors. And there was one thing in here I thought was really kind of cool. Other than mixing your colors and gradiating them out and stuff. But um, one of these pages, I'm trying to remember which ones. This one, spraying it after you've colored the paper with water. I thought that was really neat. <laughs> Something I'm used to doing with my distress inks. And then you have your little, um, why don't you buy another product here <laughs> card. These are their um, Albrecht Dürer Magnus pencils. They're bigger than these and they come in the limited set here. And then they show you a couple of other things that they have. So that's the little card that comes with that. Here are the gorgeous pencils. They have these nice little elastic sides that pull out the uh, plastic trays on the bottom, which I cannot turn over. There is a very thin uh, piece of foam. So protecting the ones down below, which is really nice. There are three trays of these gorgeous pencils. So greens, and then we have the browns and the grays down below, along with um, kind of the skin color sets here. Uh, the pencils are the exact same that the polychromos have. Same names, same colors, except for the skin colors here have changed their names. So let's see. I've got them down here. Hopefully I can remember which one it is. I think it was light skin tone. Let me find my ones in here. One would think this would be easier for me. Here we go, polychromos. And then we have our skin tone set for skin colors. Okay. So we have the red violet is still the red violet. And then we have dark flesh, which is now changed to salmon. Same number, 130. The medium flesh is name changed to coral, which is 131. And the light flesh, 132, has been changed to beige red. And then the rest of them are all the same. So those are just the changes on those. And there are only three of them that are changed in the names, but they are the same color and the same number. Just thought I'd let you know that. There's one of the things I wanted to check when I bought these pencils is if I could use them as a water base to the polychromos. <laughs> Saving my hand or my wrist from a lot of work if I can do that. And I thought that was kind of neat. So we're going to pull out one here. Uh, obviously they are a hexagonal type pencil. They don't roll. Um, unlike the polychromos that tend to roll all over my desk. So polychromo, the watercolor. We have, um, a little, maybe I get a different color. It might be a little easier for me to see it. Okay, they both have silver. That is not. Ah, let's try this again. 
gold writing on this, it looks like. Yeah, so the polychromos have got gold writing. It has the band here, Faber-Castell, the little logo, a little box. <laughs> it looks like it has something in it. I don't know what it is. Then it says polychromo, uh, and then it's got another little box. It's got a SV, and it says Germany. Okay. The Albrecht Durer has got its name, a watercolor brush here to make you remember it's a watercolor. Still has the band Faber-Castell, its logo, and Made in Germany written on it also. Um, names are just in English. <laughs> uh, 133. This one has got the two names. One not in English, one in English, and then the brand number first and then the um, color number. Uh, they both have light fast ratings, these little teeny tiny stars up here, and these are a little bit bigger and easier to read. Silver and gold, depending on how your eyes go. This one does not have a barcode, but this one does. So you have a barcode on these also. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What I've gone ahead and done is written down all their names. And that's how I know they coincide with the polychromos. I went and checked. So those are the only ones that didn't were the uh, skin tone colors. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to swatch these little puppies out. Usually I will get this down a little bit. I will put, um, I want it over a little bit, them all in a pencil sharpener first because they have a, some pencils have a coating on these. I double checked them but they are water based so if I scratch big enough I'm not going to get any of that coating. Let's start with white. Uh, not that we're going to see it, but we're going to put it down there. And I'm going to leave it out because I want to see if it'll go over a darker color. So I'm going to put down a few colors and then activate them. This one is Ivy. Ivory. So you can see that it's got a little more of a buttery color to it. Cream. And just hear how soft that goes down. That is nice. And then we have light yellow glaze. Now they are watercolor, so if you see little dusting coming off, it's perfectly normal. This one is Cadmium Yellow Lemon. They are water activated, so they should have some crumble on them. And we'll do, I don't know, maybe four more and then we'll activate them. Light Cadmium Yellow. They go down really, really nicely. And I've understood that you could use these for um, both water coloring and coloring in the book. So you can go over your watercolor with these also. Light chrome yellow. But I wanted to uh, use them with the polychromos, so that is what I'm going to be doing. Cadmium yellow. If you notice, we have a lot of yellows. <laughs> Dark cadmium yellow. I'm just using the same uh, pressure going all the way across. I'm only going to activate the first half. Dark chrome yellow. And the last one, so I don't have to move the paper too much, is going to be the cadmium orange. Okay. Now, water brush. And while we're out at it, a wash rag. 
Okay, uh, you're not going to see much in the white. But the first part of that is activated. <laughs> and we are activating the ivory. Cream. I'm wiping my brush off. The uh, light yellow glaze. Cadmium yellow lemon, and this is the light cadmium yellow. These just, these are nice. Uh, light chrome, chrome yellow. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> Sorry. Cadmium yellow. This one's dark cadmium yellow. Dark chrome yellow. And cadmium orange. Pretties. This is not water paper, just <laughs> to let you know. This is just regular printer paper. Okay, we've got the orange glaze. And dark cadmium orange. Like cadmium red. Scarlet red. Pale. Hmm. Geranium Lake. That's an interesting name. Oh, but it's a pretty color. Geranium Lake. Deep Scarlet Red. Permanent Carmine. Deep Red. And middle cadmium red. Okay, we'll go through those. That's the orange glaze. This is the dark cadmium. Orange, light cadmium red, scarlet red, pale geranium lake. Deep Scarlet Red. Permanent Carmine. These reds are really close. Deep Red. And Middle Cadmium Red, which has got a brown tone to it. That's pretty. 
But yeah, these two look very similar. All right. I don't know how much of this you guys want to watch. <laughs> because there's 120 of these. Uh, dark red. Oh, that is pretty. I like that one. Matter. Alizarian Crimson. Pink Carmine. Rosy Carmine. Light Purple Pink. Fuchsia. Magenta. If you're wondering why this one looks different, it's because I used it a little bit to see what colors <laughs> they laid down like. This is light magenta. These two look really pretty together. <laughs> okay, Pink Matter Lake. middle purple pink. What I'm going to do is go down the rest of this page and then I will on the next two pages just put the pencil down and then we'll activate them on camera. I think that might be a little easier. Light red violet. This one got me. This is called crimson. It's purple. I don't know about that one. Is crimson supposed to be purple? It's supposed to be red. Maybe a red purple. Magna Mag Anise Violet. One of these years I'll get the names right kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is Violet. Doo, doo, doo. We only have a few to go. Um, that's blue. Okay, we need this one. Did I do that wrong? Let's see. Oh, that's violet. This is purple violet. And this is blue violet. This one's just a little scratchier, but that's okay. And then we have mauve. Smoother. Mm. Delph blue. And dark indigo. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> okay. We'll start up at the top. Dark red. Matter. It's a bright red. 
Now, Zarian Crimson. Brighter red. Pink Carmine. Oh, that's pretty. Rose Carmine. I'm going to go good with the magenta. Light purple pink. Fuchsia. Magenta. Pretty. <laughs> Light magenta. Pink matter lake. Middle purple. Light red violet. Crimson. Manganese Violet Regular Violet <laughs> Purple Violet That's a pretty color And Blue Violet Which I know I'm going to like Mauve I don't know, you can't see me do these colors down here, so sorry um, the Delph Blue, which is nice, and then my favorite color, the Blue Indigo, Dark Blue Indigo, Dark Indigo, just plain old Indigo. There we go. Okay, that's the first page, and what I'm going to do off camera is do, yeah, 120, <laughs> the next two pages, put them in, and then I'll activate them for you to see. So hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, one other thing I did want to mention. I noticed uh, when I first started talking to you about the pencils and how these had um, the two names in two different languages, the one pencil I pulled out to show you did, un did not, but all the rest of them too. <laughs> so the one I must have pulled out first is the same word in both languages. So they do have the two names on them. So I want to, d to let you know that. <clears throat> we have the colors down. I had a big problem with the metallics. Okay, uh, tried to put them on the white paper, and all they did was scratch. So sharpened them, got a teeny bit of color out, but because it has a metallic in it, it doesn't like the paper I was printing it on. So here's a piece of cardstock, and you'll notice it goes down on that. So what I'll do, this is the gold and that's the copper. I can't get it to go on this paper at all. It won't do it. I will tear the paper if I try to push down, but you'll notice on um, heavier paper it will go on. The silver worked okay, but the gold and the copper did not. So <clears throat> just to let you know that, we're going to go up here and do the intra in down thrown <laughs> blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a really pretty blue color with a tiny hint of purple to it. Okay, then we have cobalt blue greenish. And I don't see any green in it, but that's just me. Uh, halo blue reddish. So this should have a little bit of red to it. Mm -hmm. Cobalt blue, ultramarine, light ultramarine, that'd be pretty in a sky, sky blue, which would also be pretty in a sky, <laughs> uh, phthalo blue, That's pretty. Middle flalo blue. 
So a little lighter and then the lightest phthalo blue. Bluish turquoise. Oh, that's pretty. All these pencils lay down the same except for the, uh, of course, metallics, which are very, very scratchy and wouldn't go down on this paper. This is Persian blue. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like that. Hilo turquoise. And that's pretty too. Cobalt turquoise. A little brighter. Light cobalt turquoise. <laughs> Very light. Okay, cobalt green. Uh, deep cobalt green. Ooh, that's pretty. Hooker's green. Kind of a bright green. Dark phalo green. Chrome oxide green fairy, fury, whatever you want to pronounce that. I was using this the other day in the polychromos colors. I don't recall it being that bright, but <laughs> we'll double check them. Uh, phalo green. Emerald green. Light phalo green, light green, kind of a yellowy green, grass green, leaf green, permanent green, permanent green olive. I love that one. Uh, pine green. That one's pretty too. Chrome oxide green. Juniper green. Olive green yellowish. That'd be good on a tree. Green gold. Really pretty color. I have that out on my desk. May green. A green. Earth green yellowish. A chromium green opaque. That's pretty. Earth green. Just kind of fades away there, didn't it? Kind of like a gray green. Okay, Kaput Mordian. And Kaput Mordian Violet. Favorite color. <laughs> Burnt uh, Carmine. A nice red. Okay, we're gonna go into red violet. That's a pretty color too. Now these are our skin tone colors here down. So we have salmon, coral, beige red, Cinnamon, and then pomegranate red, Indian red, Venetian red, Sanguine. That'd be really pretty in fall leaves. Burnt ochre. Terracotta. 
light yellow ochre. Naples yellow. Dark Naples yellow ochre. Brown ochre. Raw umber. Bister. Van Dyke Brown. Nougat. Burnt Umber. And up at the top, we've got the Burnt Sienna. Pretty. <laughs> Walnut brown, dark sepia, warm gray six, warm gray five, or f yeah, it's five. <laughs> Read my Roman numerals. Warm Gray 4, Warm Gay Gray 3, Warm Gray 2, and Warm Gray 1. I don't know, does that one even show up? Kind of it does, I guess. Then we're going to go into the Cold Grays, and they go the opposite way. So this is Cold Gray 1. Cold gray two, cold gray three, cold gray four, cold gray five. Isn't it nice to know I know how to count up to six? <laughs> cold gray six. Payne's gray. It's pretty black, which does turn into a really nice black. And here we have the problems. This is silver, which actually did color on the paper. And then we'll go over here to the gold. So if you can get it to go down on the paper, you can get it to activate. That does a pretty good job. And then the copper. There you go. Um, this paper will not take those colors. Uh, no matter how I tried, I can't. There's a little bit of pigment there, but I don't think I got much of the gold on there at all. So yeah, all I did was crush up the paper a lot. So metallics, you might want to be a little careful with. But this is what they all look like. Let's um, go in order here. One, two, and three. Get you up a little higher so you can see all of them. So we went with um, doing the activation on the front and then we have the pencil work on the back so you can see what the pencils look like if you use them on their own. And I was going to get out the uh, polychromo one that I have in here as soon as I find it again. And we're just going to two, three, pull it out of this book. There we go. And we'll see what the pencils look like. There we go. Next two. They're, they're little different size boxes. White looks the same, cream looks the same. <laughs> ah, and then we've got the light yellow glaze here. I mean, you can use these to go with these colors. What is this one? Dark cadmium yellow is this one here. Yeah, so the 
pencil to the watercolor without activating it is almost spot on. I mean, I didn't expect them not to be, but they look really, really, really close. So do we have two? Yeah, we have the uh, scarlet and the pale geranium that look almost identical, and they look almost identical here too. So then we got the purples and the rest of the pinks. So here's magenta. Here's magenta. I'll just get this way. It looks a little better. So you can see the. There might be a little hint of difference, just because this is a softer, because it's water based. The light magenta, the light red violet is a little deeper here, and what about our indigo? Looks the same. But just a little more vibrancy in the colored pencils, which I just, you know, I assumed that that would happen. And our greens look good. Olive green, yellow, yeah. So, yeah, I have no problem sticking one of these pencils on top of a base of watercolor if I need to add a little extra to it. Change the color up if I didn't get enough watercolor down, or if I want to enhance, I can just do it with a color chart and make sure I get the right colors. Awesome. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I wanted to buy them and I was going, I want to make sure that they would match these colors, which is going to make coloring with them so much easier for me. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.